Hello, I'm Lawrence Moroni for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Android 12 Developer Preview 2 is here, and it has more new features and changes for you to try out in your apps. Some new things to look for in this release include new rounded corners APIs, improved picture-in-picture -picture APIs, better companion device management, easier effects like blur and color filter, there's app overlay controls, and there's a whole lot more. There's a lot to check out in Developer Preview 2, so read the post on the Android Developer's blog for a few highlights, and visit the Android 12 Developer site for details and downloads for your Pixel. To aid in the process of migrating from Google Contacts API to the People API, we've added two new sets of endpoints for working with contacts via the People API. First, we now have new write endpoints that allow developers to create, delete, and update multiple contacts at once. In addition, we also have new read endpoints that allow developers to search a user's contacts using a prefix query. Head to the post and read more about these new endpoints and how to get started with the People API. We've announced the general availability of alternate runtimes for Google Workspace add-ons. This release is a major breakthrough for Google Workspace developers who want to use their own development stack. So things like hosting, tools, languages, packages, and processes. Included with this launch is also the debut of the Google Workspace add-ons Cloud API, which allows you to completely forego using AppScript for managing Google Workspace add-on deployments using alternate runtimes. There's more details in the post. We've now announced the general availability of A2 VMs based on the NVIDIA Ampere A100 Tensor Core GPUs in Compute Engine. So now you can run NVIDIA CUDA-enabled machine learning and high-performance computing, scale out and scale up workloads far more efficiently and at a lower cost. So check out the post for regional availability and also how to get started. So please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Lawrence Moroni for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. He's the strongest debugger in the house. He really helps me with all my code. Right, Bucky?